that there was a little pro mix up. Um, I've changed my name. I'm you can. I'm no longer Brandon Wilson. Uh, that is my human name, for it was given to me by my primate oppressors. If you if you were to refer to me, please call me Mittens. <laughs> or Mr. Mittens, if you want to be formal about it. I've also been known to uh, come to here, kitty, 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 kitty. But uh, people and names are like, it's always weird. Like, I always wonder what it would be like if we started naming people like we name our cats. You know, people are a little not so creative. You know, they have a dog named Spot, thus his name Spot. You know, you have a cat named that scampers everywhere, so you name him like Scamperton or something, you know? But a flight to people would be a little different. You know, the interaction is just like, Hey, how you doing? I'm balding. Balding clammy hands. Oh, hi, balding clammy hands. I'm drinks. This is my wife, Naggy. That's short for Naggery. Yeah, we're the domestic buttes. Are these your kids? Yeah, this is my daughter, Jailberta. And my son, young Master Bates. That's an adorable dog you got there. What's his name? Ralph. In case uh, any of the ladies in the audience are curious. I'm neutered. Ow! Yeah, thank you. We have another neutery in the house. You know, it's all part of the process, like the transition from, you know, person to cat. You have to live, you know, about a year as a cat, you know, eating little tin cans of food and catching mice, and finally they let you lop your balls off, you know? But, um, you know, being a cat isn't really all that easy. You know, it's not all cat naps and, and tuna fish. My parents don't understand my lifestyle choice, you know. Uh, they're dog people. And the church is pretty blatant about it, you know, I read the signs, no pets allowed. You know, and the looks I get for people for cleaning myself in public with my tongue. These people actually got really angry at me at the park, like a group of mothers chased me out of the park just because I pooped in the sandbox. I buried it, okay? Before I get off the subject of, of dog, you know, of cats and whatnot, uh, I just want to say that this feud that we have between dogs and cats it's over-exaggerated, you know? It's just the kind of thing that the mainstream media wants us to, you know, hate each other, you know? It makes for good news. I want to say that that's just exaggeration, you know? I, I like to think we're a little more progressive. I even have some dogs as friends, you know? They're loyal. They have a wonderful disposition. They smell bad and have way too many kids, but, you know, they're nice people. Just don't ask me to use the same water dish. <laughs>